in front of Lincoln Center. We're protesting the fact that the New York Philharmonic forced Kara Kaiser into a non-disclosure agreement back in 2012. Over a month ago, there was a big article in Vulture in New York Magazine about um, Kara Kaiser. She was drugged and raped. There's rather compelling evidence that you can read about in the article involving um, DNA evidence on a tampon. And the only person who really stood up for her in the orchestra was Amanda Stewart, the first ever female brass player in the New York Phil. And both of the women were denied tenure. I started a petition exactly a month ago. Over 6,000 people have signed the petition. I have printed out all the names and very shortly now we're going to take all of this which I've printed out into little booklets to CEO and President Gary Gensling, the co-chairman of the board Peter Bay, and other co-chairman of the board Oscar Tang. So here's all of the comments and the cover letter and also the names of the 6,000 people you have signed. We are delivering this by hand. I want them to fully dissolve this NDA and settlement agreement, and that will be beneficial to our industry as a whole. We are having a reckoning right now with the misogyny and sexism there.